can I be Laplace's demon? Can what? If I knew the quantum state of one million light year cubic region around us, and I knew exactly what everything was doing, and I knew all the laws of physics, and I had infinite computational power, and I did not know the laws of thermodynamics or economics or biology, could I evolve it forward uh, just using the laws of physics and get the inevitably right answer, or would I get the wrong answer? To the Is distribution it, of matter at the end of that period of to, time. Yeah, to within the theory, what the theory talks about. I mean, is the theory complete in Okay, now you sense? tell me, but I got the impression that you couldn't because of basic things in physics like decoherence and non-locality. No, I don't think that's... Can't. I mean, it's just, it's a quantum mechanical version of, of Laplace's demon, but the Schrodinger equation, you know, is, is deterministic. It uh, says, well, we'll have, we can talk about wave functions collapsing and probabilities, but I think that's a red herring for this argument. It's still, you know, so I will predict the probability of it happening rather than it happening, or we can be many worlds or, or whatever. I'm just saying, is the theory complete, or is there something that we get wrong by not knowing the higher level description? Sean, I, I want to make a little distinction here. So I think it, it makes sense to say, I have a big computer, I simulate it, at the end I have a distribution of matter, I look at it, I see the economists, right? But the, what I think bothers people is the relationship between theories. Not the relationship, you know, not building a simulation and running it through, but we want to know if our theory of psychology is consistent with our theory of quantum field theory. Right. It's right. derivable, not consistent. Or, so well, so derivable. derivable is far too strong. And derivable is strong, care. right? We, yeah. we, 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 want, we want to know those, if those two theories are the same. It may be the case that we, that we won't know. Now, it might be said every good science th scientific theory, eventually we can sort of see how the construction will go. No, no, but you're avoiding my easy question by asking a hard question. My easy question is, is, is if you run the simulation you get an answer, and is the answer right? If you if you run the simulation and you at the end you get the distribution of matter and you see the economist, I think is there anyone who disagrees with that? I don't think so, but I just want to make okay, sure. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Let me give you an answer. Let me give you a tentative answer because again, I, this this is I want to actually see what you think about this. So from the stuff that I read recently, one possible answer would be yes, you get a, a an accurate. Uh, description of the positions or properties of matter at that level, uh, you get no information at all about, let's say, the temperature and pressure at which some of that matter transitions to from from liquid to the vapor. Because for that, you know, to get that, you need additional boundary conditions. You need something else. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I think that any boundary condition I might need is included in my. I just had a million light years across I have, right? So no, but I'm only predict, predicting of one year in the future. Uh, there's no boundary conditions that can possibly affect. So, so it ultimately, uh, let's say that happened. The, the Blas's demon is back there uh, a million years back. Uh, got this, this cubic light year. Um, I, I look down here and I say, this, this, is, this looks very busy to me. Um, so the Blas's demon is, is predicted that I think that this is very busy. That's, mm -hmm. that's your claim. What, what, is it, what does it mean you think oh, it's no, very busy? No, no, so I, I have this, ex, this experience, uh, this rug has got so much stuff on it, yeah, uh, it's, right. it's, it's aesthetically troubling to me, you know? Now, so Laplace's demon is going to explain that piece, right? Well, I didn't use the word explain. No, no, what, what's he going to do? Is he going to predict that that's exactly... He's going to predict the location of every molecule in the room. No, no, I understand that. I'm right. not worried about the molecules in the room. I'm, I'm worried about that I just thought no. this thought. And what, that, what exactly. does that mean in your, in your story? So, so what it means is that... The there are interesting true things to say about the world that that description that the Laplace's demon is using doesn't know about. That I think it's, so that's the right. interesting part of emergence right. in my mind. Right. Yeah. That the way to find the laws of the special sciences, the way to find the laws of economics and biology and even chemistry or solid state physics is not to take the standard model of particle physics and renormalize. Okay, everyone agrees on that. Yes. And nevertheless, we can experimentally and by being scientists and being by almost all the scientists in the world. Uh, you know, do things other than particle physics and find regularities that are interesting and true and useful. And nevertheless, it remains true that I don't need to know about those regularities to answer questions that can be phrased in the language of the fundamental theory. There's an old example of mine, which I think is apt here, where we imagine a prediction contest between Laplace's demon and an earthling. Mm -hmm. And how the Laplace's demon can actually interact with the earthling to have a contest is tricky because Separate because Laplace's demon, we're supposing, does not conceive of the earthling as an investigator. Right. Okay, because it's just a, it's a mass of atoms. Right. 
But for some, you have to give me that bit. And, and the, so they're going to have a prediction contest. Um, the earthling picks up the phone, and the phone rings. Earthling <laughs> picks it up and says, oh, you're coming for dinner? Fine. Will you stop off and pick up a bottle of wine on the way home? Great. See you within the hour. Click. Now, the Laplace's demon, with its total knowledge, predicts this incredible trajectory of the person who was on the other end of the phone, stopping in traffic, starting in traffic, stopping at a bottle shop, buying a bottle of wine, uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, and arriving at this destination and bringing the bottle of wine in. That's the same prediction that the earthling makes, namely there's going to be a bottle of wine sitting on this table in one hour. So the Laplace's demon has a problem given that the Laplace demon is working it out just from the physics. He sees, and he even predicted, that the earthling would make this prediction. But he knows how he made his prediction. He had to track every bloody atom in the whole universe, practically, in order to predict this. And he can see that the earthling doesn't have access to all that information. So the earthling's capacity to, to, to win the bet to, to make the same prediction is going to look like magic to him unless he has the intentional stance and can see that the earthling is an agent that has beliefs and desires, that understands the language that's being said, that trusts the person on the phone, and so forth. If you don't have that level, you're both going to make the same prediction, but, but, the, but the Laplace's demon is going to be baffled by how I'll put it sort of stronger, too. The, the Laplace demon can, given that incredible, infinite capacity, can predict where and when earthlings make successful distinctions, uh, d uh, predictions. But, but is not going to have any, any resources within the theoretical vocabulary that he has to explain why. And, and to, he has to do each one seriatim. He has to do each one atom by atom. There are no generalizations that allow the Laplace's demon to say which earthlings make successful predictions when. Are you, are you also excluding neurological generalizations? Yeah. I mean, Laplace's Not demon just, just has physics. He, 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 has, he has physics and he can't also have higher level regularity well, that of was, a non-intentional kind. That, that was the premise. Yeah. That was the premise. That mm -hmm. just, but I think the Laplace and demon can have all the generalizations up to, up to intentionality. Yeah. Because there are no generalizations that include intentionality, and that's why you can't have them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's a massive bagging of the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. 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 Is it? I don't, I, well, certainly, I, I was only going to make the smaller point that he or she doesn't need all that. We can imagine a Laplacian demon that only speaks the language of the wave function, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but he will be missing something. That's well, the point. Well, the, the, the kind of thing that he is missing is an ability to make efficient predictions. But he's not missing any ability to make predictions about what he has access to. In fact, he's you know, never but, than but, 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 but yeah, the he's never wrong. The prediction. Surely the efficiency of the prediction is partly a consequence of the way the world is actually structured. Sure. Right? Yeah. So the efficiency so of the prediction is a matter of the, there is this frequency with which the guy never arrives with the bottle, and the Laplacian demon always knows when that happens. Yeah, the Laplace's demon yeah. is better, but way less efficient. And I think yeah. that, you know, just saying it, it makes <laughs> it sound it, wait, it makes it sound like like Better? we're denigrating it to say it's just efficiency, but efficiency is really amazingly important. It's a true regularity of the yes. world. Which and, I think is in not fact, important. and in fact, if the if the Laplacian demon is reflective, the well, the Laplacian right. demon, if the Laplacian demon itself has a concept of efficiency, it's going to realize that that there are subparts of the world that is predicting that has incredibly efficient ways of making predictions. They're not perfect, but they're much better in a coin toss. And that will be a puzzling fact for which the Laplacian demon does not have the resources to answer, to explain why that efficiency should exist. Even more, it doesn't even need a concept of efficiency. As you had said, it's going to seem like magic to Laplace's demon. And therefore, if he's rational, 
at all. He's going to want to explain it, as we should want to explain it. Why is it so efficient? That seems to be a, there's yeah, a correspondence. You, you cannot leave it at a, as a raw fact. Exactly. Because then I'd be missing something big about what's going now, on there. Do you think yeah. that supports your view or mine? <laughs> I think that supports mine. <laughs>